At some point of time PCs and laptops do need some upgradation. So do their storage drives, mainly the MacBooks that are sold with low storage capacities and are also costlier than the new technology SSDs. In this video, I will give a demo of upgrading the stock Gen 4 PCI SSD storage on this early 2015 MacBook Air A1466 model. Probably the same SSDs were continued till 2017 MacBook Airs. So this will be valid for MacBook Airs between early 2015 to 2017, which has a pin configuration of 12 plus 16. At that time, Apple's PCI to Gen 4 SSDs were mostly manufactured by Samsung for the 13-inch MacBook Air. The Samsung drives were commonly referred to by the identifier of their flash controller with UBX printed on the SSD blades. But those MacBook Airs were limited to just 128 GB and 256 GB, which are also very costly. I will be replacing this 128 GB 12 plus 16 pin SSD blade with a 512 GB 2280 PCI Gen 3 NVMe SSD that has a separate pin configuration. So this won't be a direct fit and will need a separate adapter. This also supports 1 TB of NVMe SSD. So this is the adapter that you will need for the conversion of 12 plus 16 pin NGFF M.2 NVMe SSD. I got this from Amazon at Rs 550 only. This will support MacBook Airs A1465, A1466 and MacBook Pro A1398, A1502 SSDs. But remember the NVMe M.2 should be 2280. No additional driver is needed. It won't change your PC performance. So don't worry about that. Now I will be connecting my M.2 NVMe with this adapter. I will also show the difference between the speeds of these two SSDs. So let me quickly check out the speed of the stock SSD that is currently in my laptop. So this is the 128 GB Samsung's SSD. As you can see the write speed is around 680 Mbps and the read speed is around 910. Now I will be doing the physical replacement of the SSDs. Do remember to disconnect the battery first before replacing the SSDs. This is the stock SSD from Samsung which I will be replacing with Crucial P2 M.2 NVMe stick which also has now 12 plus 16 pins after connecting with the adapter. After attaching the adapter, you can see the length of the SSD is now same with the stock SSD. It fits the same way as the stock SSD. So let me quickly install it.
after the installation is complete. Now connect the battery. So installation is complete. Let me power on and check the SSD has been detected or not. We will need a USB Mac OS installer along with you in order to boot via the recovery mode. Now from the disk utility you can see the newly installed SSD. Since I have used this SSD previously in Windows PC so it's still renamed as windows 10 pro but i will be doing a partition and make it ready for mac os installation The M.2 NVMe SSD is now ready. As you can see, I will be doing a fresh installation of Mac OS Catalina. And soon after that, I will test the speed of this SSD. After installation of the Mac OS, I will be running the Blackmagic speed test. As you can see, the write speed has increased a bit to 870 and the read speed also around 1108 so friends that's all with the upgrade process see you all in my next video till then bye bye and take care